Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric, and today we have another brand new group that I have not done yet. We have Acid Angel from Asia. Um, yeah, I've heard that this is a subunit of a much larger group, and they're just kind of throwing them out there, almost NCT style in subunits. I don't know. I think NCT debuted all together, but um, this is just what people have told me. Um, y'all know how much I, I really do love what they're doing with new jeans. Um, again, I'm, you, I'm always going to be worried about younger, um, idols debuting, but at the same time, you can't deny the talent and the shift that they're causing in K-pop and the wave that they're ushering in and the success that they're having. Um, a lot of people have told me that they think that they're, this vibe is very similar, um, so and a lot of people loved it that recommended it so i definitely something that i wanted to get into so let's get into a little bit about the members first subunit of the girl group triple s unit consists of kim yuyan kim nakyung gong yubin and jong heron okay kim yuyan leader kim nakyung no position gong yubin no position and then jong heron Magane. Okay. Damn. So it's the, yeah. We're definitely in the young um the young era. I mean, we have another like 15 year old in this group. It's like wow. This group. This group is really really young. Um. Again, my whole opinion on that is just they've been debuting young artists forever. Some of the greatest artists ever um have debuted young. You know what I'm saying? We talk about Justin Timberlake, Michael Jackson, Chris Brown. TLC, um, you know what I mean? Uh, I just think that it's on the viewers and the agency to protect the girls and be respectful of, you know, their age and the concept and the styling and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, so I'm very excited to hear what we got. So, we've got Asa Angel from Asia with Triple S Generation. Before we get into the video, make sure you all like, comment, subscribe to your post notifications. I've got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, let's get into them. I heard that one of them is one of them is BB's sister, if I'm not wrong. If I'm What is that? What is that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, real quick, because it sounds like a bop already. What is is that something in Korea? Like something or like just and is that just a negative thing, the nail thing? Like, what what is the connotation of that? I remember people were telling me, like, when Sulgi was clipping her nails, that it was a bad omen or something. I don't know. Was that just a random add-in or, like, what? Because the way she's looking at her is like, girl, why are you doing that? Okay, what they just did in addition school? They about to go put that drip on. I knew it. <laughs> they put that drip on. Oh yeah. Okay, come on, y'all. I like the vibe of this video. Oh, that hairstyle is so adorable. Them background harmonies. Hold on. Them outfits are fire. Um, they got sauce to them. Who is this with the hat on? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get names and faces down. I know I looked at them for a second, but yeah, she got, she got sauce. She got sauce. They all got their own little. You can tell already. They all have their own little. Some of them are more cutesier. Some of them are more badass. They all got their own little vibe about them. I like this. Oh, 
that I'm sorry, that heart hairstyle is so cute. <laughs> Did she bow? To, Did she apologize? <laughs> Bro, this is what I'm talking about, bro. I said this about New Jeans the other day, not to compare, but I think musically, sonically in K-pop, I think we're entering like a four and a half generation. Like, we're still in fourth generation, but I mean just musically and sonically and, and aesthetically and sound-wise, I think we're starting to move into that 4.5 generation um just because like the unprecedented success that new jeans has had out the gate and then now you look at something like this this was heavily requested like a lot of people were really feeling this um and i can see why this is this is a vibe the styling again it's very like you could call them almost sister groups um i know this is just a subunit of the entire thing so who knows how they're going to go with the entire thing but it's interesting that this is the vibe that they chose to go with out the gate um again very very different you know um but it still is in that same family of the y2k um you know even the way that it's filmed even some of the grainier shots that's almost like they're filmed on an old camera or something that they can tell they've edited that to make it more retro. Again, the styling, um, the even the concept, the ditching school thing, switching in the clothes. Like this is all very reminiscent of like early two thousands films or like Days in the Life and stuff like that. Like a lot of that type of MTV type stuff. This is like an MTV video, you know, that comes into mind. I'm really feeling this though. Dancing together in the subway like that, like. The style is on their check. God damn, they have some amazing outfits. I like how they styled them. And it's still age appropriate. I love that. This video is hilarious. Hey, okay, get loose in the look in the in the overpopulated elevator. Hey. She fed up. Come on, vocals. She's giving me Sola from WJSN vibes. This one right here with the bangs. Hey. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> hey, this is so Bob. Okay, ladies. That is how you debut, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you debut. Are they going back to school? All right, so that's that's leading into the next. The idol of all possibilities. Okay. So that was Acid Angel from Asia. Um with generation um yeah i think that that was amazing um that is a hell of a debut i think i think that that would be a fun live stage to see um they look like they are going to be confident out of the gate um they just had that aura about them in the video again they were given each one was giving something a little different um i would say bangs long hair bangs was giving more her and the one with the beanie with the i think the beanie she had the beanie on and most out and all the outfits i think they were kind of giving more like aggressive a little more girl crush and then you have um the other two that were more like cute and more like reserved a little bit but um you know again that's one of the beautiful things about smaller subunits is you can really kind of 
get the energy from each member um but no i i loved everything about that again like i said i feel like sonically we're like a couple we're like you know one more like smash hit or smash group debut or something along these lines to really push the the vibe already i feel like you know in the industry and k-pop the the popular stuff right now is the pop punk aesthetic um um and you know just the rock aesthetic in general shout out to Dreamcatcher. um and the y2k vibe you know what i'm saying that early like i said this is very tlc like you know those early girl groups of the 2000s late 90s early 2000s um and like i said the styling i like how they're keeping the styling um age appropriate uh so far you know what i mean i, I like that um while still giving it that you know that that flair but but again age appropriateness is everything um but yeah i i like where they seem to be going i hope that this unit stays with this vibe i know that they're probably going to have units that go in different directions but it's just one of those things i think it's an interesting concept to think about um and it, all i can say is i'm excited to see what else they roll out for us but i think that this was the right decision debut wise in my opinion i think that it's something that's already a vibe that's already kind of popular but they still did it in their own way the song was catchy the only thing i will say about it is i feel like it can feel repetitive for some people maybe but in my opinion i think that the song is almost just like a loop you know what i mean i think it's a comfortable song that sounds good enough to be looped over and over because it's just a smooth song all in all and yeah i you know i'm all for idols debuting and achieving their dreams you know 100 percent. so i'm happy for them i hope they're successful and i can't wait to see what else we get to see from them but those four right there were very very talented let me know which one is bb's sister or if i'm even if i'm off and someone lied to me because that's just what i heard um but uh yeah again loved everything about that and uh can't wait to see more from them so before y'all go make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot still coming your way and uh yeah till next time